Taki and Shogun that they could be in there. It's Alistair level one, so definitely don't want to walk into this. Oh. Going nice. for the splash. Okay, he's going on in there. Immediate exhaust, but with the E leveled up here from Tristana, that's going to be one more auto, and Gubiusi goes down. Shogun and Taki take it to them. Karia with the Ignite. He will flash in and take away the kill onto Shogun. So much action already in the bottom side, and Karia will be able to walk this one out. It's so extremely important that Karia is actually able to take Shogun out here because if he still dive, quote unquote, it will of course force Zayas to back, but he has teleport. Meanwhile, oh, here we go, Guma a little bit too far up, but they're trying to train it back, but the extra jump comes in for Shogun, and this is just going to be a double kill on the bottom side, as the Saigon Buffalo duo are taking out T1. Fight for Rift Herald no matter what in our region for so long, regardless of circumstances, and see it ignored this early, so unusual as oh, this time. the bubble comes in, and Shogun, this time after he goes down, as Froggy now gets pretty low, looks like there wasn't enough vision around the mid lane as we will have him going down here. And you can hear the fans, they're allowed to cheer out now. It is awesome to hear uh, that they are ready to go and cheer for T1 here at MSI. Yeah. Okay, Taki once again for uh -oh. the engage. Okay, going on in here, but you can see that Shogun not really confident to get on in this one, and he will just get burst down. It gets a little bit too close to the sun, and trying to force it there with Saigon and Buffalo. Here comes BJ with the flash coming in. The immediate exhaust and the damage that comes out of Lucian. Nami might be enough, but not quite, as BJ will be able to take him out at the end of at least three. River, and they are clearing it all up now. T1 have full vision control so that Gumiusi can continue to push aggressively to try to grab that last plate in the last minute. Okay, Froggy uh, space checking a little bit here, did not have vision, and now he is just trying to tank it up. But uh, unfortunately, Destiny Gate comes in. Big two on two on the bottom side again. And this time, Shogun and Taki will get their revenge. Another double kill into this Tristana. At least they're getting some wins down Shogun there. And BJ should get the win, and they will. The first turret blood will go the way of Saigon Buffalo as a stolen by ultimate, as in goes Froggy extremely aggressively just to try to save this awesome. turret. And he will, as here comes Hosman. He's got the angle onto Baker, as Baker will get comboed. And he's trying to get CC to 100 to zero. And now with four members of the Buffaloes, he will be taken down. I cannot overstate, I think, the lack of respect that T1 has shown. It's 400 gold, and it's T1 against the VCS's second team, right? Not even their number one team. A much closer uh -oh. game than we expected. Okay, we're going to have calling against calling, but uh, Kingslayer is not going to help him survive as Froggy, once again, it, it seems like just a little bit out of position. A little bit too far away, and he's trying to control an objective that hasn't yet spawned. Meanwhile, Owner gets Rift Herald. So, you know, uh -oh. at, the, at the end of the day, it's a big win for T1. Zeus has been stalked through the jungle, and now he's got to go 1v2 in his shroud. As now the Gwen ultimate is stolen, the damage not quite there. Zeus will survive as Karia gets there just barely on time, and BJ is going to get ignited down by Carrier, who will pick up the kill. And now Owner is looking for a little bit more. Meanwhile, topside Faker survives there. Husband yeah. even co commits the flash, is unable to kill yeah, him. And Shogun is just dead here, does not have another jump. That is going to be a killing spree now for Owner, who casually picks up the Vi and is now three and zero in the first game of MSN. Ahead, where they would be, you know, pushing this far to the jungle as Tidal Wave's gonna come out. Yeah, not gonna hit him as we do have second refill coming in, but this is Hosmed a huge all. teleport flank coming in now from Hosmed, but he's all alone. He is gonna be forced into this one early on. The slicing maelstrom only hits owner as okay. Owner is actually gonna go down. Finger tries to get the kill onto Kenan, but it's not gonna quite work out. But Zeus is now frontlining and he's got a bunch of needles. He's just trying to chip through that front line here. So many low health bars on the side of Saigon Buffalo, but nobody has gone down yet as they do not have vision of this buff, this brush rather, as Hosmed will give up his life. Everybody else is on the run, as Froggy is just gonna get executed, and T1 will take the fight eventually. <laughs> as, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be the the bubble coming in. Karia will pick up the kill, a very bloodthirsty support in his own wreck. He's got his spawning Baron at 2015, and Psycho Buffalo, Suss this out, they're gonna rotate over. Vi ultimate available yeah. here for Froggy. T1 might have bitten off more than they could chew here. They're gonna try to uh, turn. They're looking for the turn, and Taki is just blown up immediately. He does use that uh, lock in, but that's about all he's got here. As T1, they knew this was coming, they knew they were spotted, and they knew 
that they would eventually take down the Baron, if not yet right away. And notice the one champion who's left standing here, the one who could have actually looked for a team fight against T1. T1 knew Hazmed had ultimate, but wasn't nearby. You have a slicing Maelstrom in this team fight, it could look completely different, but T1 very aware of where he is on the map. The tidal wave Turia is fantastic. And T1 used this Baron to force a team fight Saigon Buffalo didn't want to take. <laughs> Uh, so Not this sure is what's disaster. going on here. Um, Faker with red buff just says, I've got exhaust as well because I have unsealed spellbook, and yeah, I, I think I'll just take the kill. Uh, thank you very much. And this is now uh, Hazmed hmm. with no slicing Maelstrom for the upcoming oh, another boy. fight. Okay, well, Saigon, they try to get something going here. They have a teleport coming in, and owner will respect it. He will actually flash away. Immediately goes back in as they notice the sad Wukong all alone. And this is just the dominoes falling one by one. Taki eventually going to be dead meat as well, as he will go down three more kills for T1 as they push with the Baron buff. The Red Bull Baron power play is going to be pretty stacked for this one, Valdez. We're already at 4,400. Taki in the 2v2, very surprising start. But T1's experience, their macro, it all shows up here, their map awareness and vision control. Yeah, they're just gonna push in for this one. We do have the stolen by ultimate. They desperately want to take out Gumiusi, and they will do that, but everybody else survives with a very low amount of health. And actually, they do get the kill there onto Zeus. As Faker, he's like, come on guys, let's let's get this one done. You know, like I wanna I wanna get some some lunch before the rest <laughs> yeah. of the day goes on. But and is having a very fun time with that. T1 without the Baron. They do have the uh, range advantage and a pretty nice siege, but here comes the flank once again. They're trying to get on Tagumi UC, and it, he, he's going to go down. Okay, they but do Zayas get the kill. is going to kill a Nexus, so and, they yeah, don't care. That's going to be the end of that turret and that Nexus as well. Zayas is just going to do it all alone. Owner comes in for the picture finish, and that will be game number one of MSI 2022 going into the hands of T1.